Hello students, welcome to one of the core subject of computer applications that is software engineering. So today I'll cover introduction to software engineering where the sub contents are definition of software engineering, components of a software and characteristics of a software as compared to the hardware. So I will start with the definition of software engineering. As you all can see, software engineering is composed of two terms. One is the software and one is the engineering. And from this term, if I try to make out the meaning or definition, then it is as simple as that, an engineering approach to develop a software. Before defining the actual definition, we should know what is engineering and what is software. So, software is so software is considered to be an executable programming code associated libraries and documentation whereas engineering engineering is all about developing product using well defined scientific principles and methods so from these two definitions as we define it separately we should know what actually software engineering would be so ieee defines software engineering as the application of systematic disciplined quantifiable approach to the development operation and maintenance of a software and this it defines in the standard 160.12-1990 where IEEE means Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers defines in this standard IEEE software engineering definition. So I hope you all understand the definition of software engineering. Now let's move to our next the concept of software engineering. And in the concept, we do have two important terms. One is the program, another one is the software. The program and the software terms generally used interchangeably, but both the terms are totally different. If I talk about the program, then program are those set of instructions written in proper syntax to solve a specific problem. So you can see, if I talk about the software, software is composed of the program, the documentation and the operating procedures. So program basically, So if I talk about the software, then software is composed of program, documentation and operating procedures. So in mathematically term, program basically is equal to the source code plus object code. So as you all know, what is source code and what is object code? Source code are basically written uh, programming statements in, uh, in, uh, in some uh, programming tool or in some text editor by the programmer and object code basically refers to the 
output that is the compiled code you can see the compiled source code basically is called the object code and both composed make the program and software is all about the program plus documentation plus operating procedures So you also can say program considers to be the subset of the software, right? So now we should know what actually documentations in any software and what are the operating procedures in any software. So firstly, I talk about the documentation. So documentations are uh, basically an umbrella term that encompasses all the written documents and materials that deals with all the software products development and use. Also, documentation allows uh, all the discussions for all significant questions arises between the stakeholders and the customers. But operating procedures are basically all the written instructions, written documentations that basically uh, uh, tells you how exactly you can use your software. Basically those instructions which can be, uh, which can uh, tell us to the setup and the use of any software program. So we will talk about these two documentations. What are the documentations and what are the procedures in the next one? So the first one, we will talk about the documentations. So if I talk about the documentations, the documentations basically, I told you the uh, documentation is an umbrella term, is an umbrella term that encompasses all the written documents which used in the software product development. So during the development process, there are some phases which will be covered in the next lectures. So uh, the, we are not talking about those phases, but we are emphasized on the documentation. So if I talk about the documentation, the development phases, which has the first one, analysis and specification, the design, implementation, and testing. In the analysis specification, it includes the documentation of formal specification, context diagrams, and data flow diagrams. And in the design phase, it has flowcharts and ER diagrams. In the implementation, the documents carries the source code listings or cross-reference listings. And in the testing, we do have the test data and the test results. So basically, in the analysis or specification phase, we do have formal specification, context diagrams, and data flow diagrams. All these are keep in a documentation called SRS documentation, which is software requirement specifications. And the design, under design phase, we do have flowcharts and ER diagram. This is keep in software design document that is SDD, whose full form is software design documents. And implementation, under implementation, source code listing and uh, cross-reference listing, these are all under source code documentation. 
and testing under testing we do have test data and test results they are under testing documentations and that testing documentation basically com consists of the test plans the test cases the test scenarios also the traceability metrics which actually traces all the specifications mentioned in srs are tested or not so this is all about the documentation now let's let's come to the operating procedures so basically operating procedures uh, are categorized into the two one is the user manuals and another one is the operating manuals so the user manuals basically consist of the system overview manual the beginners guide manual and operating manuals include the installation guide and administration guide so now you can be able to uh, distinguish ki documentation and operating manuals which can make any software are totally different so let's move to our uh, topic that is characteristics of the software so as i told you characteristics of the software will be explained uh, with the help of the characteristics of the hardware so the first characteristics any software is software does not wear out and compared to the hardware hardware does wear out with time so the first characteristics is software does not wear out and hardware does wear out so i explain it in a graph of time and failure rate so basically so in this uh, graph of time and failure rate you can see one curve which i call the idealized curve in the idealized curve what exactly we assume as uh, in the initial phase of the life cycle of software development there is an increase of the failure rate as you can see once the defects get corrected we get a flattened curve which we called an idealized curve but actually idealized curve never happens because as we all know change is the only constant thing which is in the software development and obviously when the software is under the development phase only there are lot of changes which needs to get embedded in the software 
तो एक्चुअल कर्व बेसिकली डिफाइंस दैट इन द इनिशियल फेज देयर इज एन इंक्रीज इन द फेल्योर रेट एंड वंस ऑल द डिफेक्टेड गेट करेक्टेड इट actually comes in a steady state and during that steady states the software development phase undergoes into some changes and when once all the changes get incorporated into the software there is again increase in the failure rate so such kind of spikes are created during that uh, during that uh incorporation of those changes because whenever i uh, make changes on any thing or any part or any uh, portion in the software then it may arises to the new errors that's why the failure rate gets high so this is basically called as the actual curve so you can see ki there is the development going on means जो सॉफ्टवेयर है दैट डज नॉट वेयर आउट इट ओनली गेट डिटेरोइड राइट कंपेयर टू द हार्डवेयर इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द हार्डवेयर एंड डिफाइन इट इन टाइम और फेल्योर रेट और इंटेंसिटी देन वी कैन सी द ग्राफ वुड बी शोन इन दिस and there are three phases one is the wear out phase the initial is the burn in phase and this is the useful life phase so again because it is the hardware so initially obviously uh, lots of uh, changes would be there while manufacturing the hardware to failure rate would be high but there is a steady state where actually hardware is very useful but during the time the hardware get expires so that phase basically is called the wear out phase so if i compare these two diagrams we do have a wear out phase in the hardware but not in the software because software only get deteriorates not wear out because at the end we i decided not to use that software but software doesn't get expired so this is the first difference between the characteristics of the software and the hardware the second uh, difference is software is a logical unit software is a logical unit as software is developed by the programmers it is an intangible unit but comparatively hardware is physical unit as hardware get manufactured so we all know hardware is a tangible unit the third characteristics is software is flexible software is flexible means uh, software allows uh changes during the development of the software life cycle but hardware is fixed hardware is fixed because it may not allow changes during the manufacturing process of any hardware and the last characteristics of the software is that it is it allows or there is a possibility of reusability of the component but in hardware there is not the possibility of the reusability of components because there is a possibility of the wear out phase where hardware may not be in that situation or in that condition to use it further so hardware uh, uh, the possibility of reusable of any component of the hardware may not be possible but in the software case it is possible
so these this these are the characteristics of the software the first one the software does not wear out it only deteriorates software is actually a logical unit the third one software is flexible and the last one software actually allows the re reusable of the components so i hope you all understand today's topic of introduction to software engineering you would be able to understand the definition of software engineering the components of software engineering which includes the program the operating procedures and the documentation you would be able to make out the difference between the documentations and the operating procedures and at last you could be able to describe the characteristics of the software when i compare it with the hardware so thank you students if you do have any kind of query you can write in the comment box keep watching and keep listening